My name is Sarah and I love to plan. Today I'm going to be planning for the month of August and I have this really exciting sticker guru haul that I want to show y'all so I'm just gonna rip right into this. So first of all this is the journaling card. I just love love sticker guru's message build an empire. Um, they handwrite your name it's just so wonderful like be sure to check them out on Instagram. I got this pack of 12 monthly kits for like an insanely low price. Um, I think they each came out to like $6 per kit, which is absolutely insane. I think I paid $80 in total for all 12 kits. They all come like this. Of course, the monthly, the names are uh were sep like were separate they were within the 80 dollars but i went in and just kind of put the monthlies with their respective kit because they're they're kind of flexible although the foils are like a particular color so i think you can use them separately but i i really just wanted to be traditional and first of all this is the one for january it is so gorgeous it has like the here hidden you can't really see it but it has like washi and dots um and little gallop uh corners i don't know what you call them then you have like the full boxes and the sidebar uh, I don't know which is which. I'm going to figure it out when I plan. Um, I, I've honestly had a little bit of trouble with that, like determining which was the sidebar. Um, and then you have these like gripped stickers and functional icons, which are absolutely adorable. And the monthlies, I love that they have like uh, some holidays and a lot of scripts for the month and then you have the date and the larger stickers and then the deco so all of the stickers are are similar actually you got 13 kits 13 not 12 one of them is a birthday kit so february is my birthday month and uh i think this one's the one that technically had to be for february uh, which and again these are the scripts and the deco date dots and this art oh so gorgeous I love it and their stickers are like a like a I, I'm not sure it's like a vinyl you can't use any pen on it like you need like a permanent marker which I use Sakura Microprim like they recommend I mean, I won't be using this one for February at this point. I don't know what I'm going to do with that one, but it is very cute. Uh, so I, I used the birthday kit. I'm going to use it for February. This is the script again, holidays, and then the functional scripts and functional icons. This is more of a, I think, a rose gold. So it, it matches the foiling on its kit, which the birthday kit, I think, has gold foil. So it doesn't fully match, which kind of bugs me. <laughs> I won't lie, but there's no way around it. Like, I know that they had to choose, like, one particular foil. But the art on this kit is absolutely adorable. Like, I love it so much. These florals everything is so gorgeous like these full like these full month boxes i i was blown away by the quality and how they did the price i i think they do it again in, on black friday where they sell you these in bulk like for the four, full year for an insane price so i wanted to show you all of them uh so you kind of get an idea of what is included in in their kits 
uh, because it did save me a lot of money like I do buy a lot of monthly kits like if I don't plan a week that's fine but I will always have a monthly kit in my planner and um, it gets a little repetitive but um, I it just it, it's so beautiful like I definitely wanted to show you all in detail all the art um, which it might change <laughs> Nice year, but you can still get these on their on their site um, Not for the sale that I got that was a long time ago. Actually, it took me forever to release this um, This was on like 4th of July when I was filming this it just uh, Took me to some time to get it out there, but you know, they're definitely worth it I'll be honest. I didn't love April's. I do like the farm the the form theme but I don't know the colorway wasn't doing it for me not my favorite I think this is my least favorite of them but that's bound to happen I'll be honest I don't get the point of those like the heart and the circle I don't if you have any ideas on how to use them let me know I just feel like they take a lot of space and they're very big and bulky Although they're cute, I might use them like in journaling. This is May. May, I really like the theme of May. I love silver foiling. It's a little bit, it's a little bit different. So I'm excited to use this. It's a really cute kit. And then June, I absolutely love June. Like the color palette, the theme, the like kind of relaxing beachy theme. I loved it so much. Look at that, that's gorgeous. If you're enjoying this video so far, definitely give it a like and subscribe for more planner inspiration planner decorating tips. I do a little bit of functional too and not just decorating. And then we have July. I already used this by this time and let me tell you it was gorgeous. Like this is probably my I would say probably my favorite in the bunch. Like this this was the sidebar um, it stacks on and it's like a seamless like transition in the sidebar so it was so soothing to use this and this was like my very first monthly sticker kit by sticker guru for our monthly I always stick to the same thing which is Lexi Kelly designs and Hello Pretty Paper so using a new foil was a little scary for me but I I just I loved it I absolutely adored it it was so fun to use I voted like on their Instagram they have some voting going on for what you want to see in the future kit so I voted to have the month like actually determined I don't love the flexibility I just like to have the same foiling I'll use it what would you do like would do you prefer to have like have flexibility on choosing your months or just like whatever is predetermined i also voted for more birthday stickers because i think they only have one and i mean i think you definitely have more than one birthday in the month so i really wanted more birthday stickers but apart from that i really really love their kits y'all this October oh my gosh I love Halloween kits I'm already getting in that Halloween vibe and this was absolutely adorable like I cannot wait this kit is so beautiful for October because it's not like traditionally witchy dark and Halloweeny it's just so elegant so you will see a uh, plan with me for this for sure because I love October. I love um, 
Halloween season. November, I really liked November too. Uh, honestly, since I, I have all of these monthlies, like I will use most of them, but not all of them. I'll probably save some for next year because I do want to get others. Like I don't always like to have the same monthly kit month in and month out like i do want to change it up like i will probably get some from lexi kylie designs and then maybe just use this like the sticker kits for next year but i'm definitely using october and november probably not september probably i'll save that one and december like i loved this december kit well it kind of depends because I want to see what Lexi Kylie lodges for December because her December kits are amazing as well. But this one is just off the charts incredible. The color palette is is a traditional Christmas, which I I don't always go for the traditional. I do like like a a pink or like a, a non traditional Christmas color scheme, but this one works. These are all the kits, y'all. Now let's jump right into my month at a glance page. I absolutely love how this page is turning out, this section in my planner. Um, I clip for to make it cute, of course. What I do is I use a lot of Lexi Kylie design stickers. I have these cute little minimalist black icon stickers and they're like a frosted matte type of paper. Uh, you can see this file folder here, zoom me in for your viewing pleasure these are so adorable and i just ordered some more i'm running low as you can see and that is making me so nervous uh but i use these icons to kind of categorize to make it look cute to kind of highlight the categories that i'm planning for and i use a thicker tip focus marker from Erin Condren for like the categories I just I just think it looks so cute then I'll go in with a thinner tip to write down the description and this page is very functional for me it is definitely like I mentioned at a glance like I will look at I will glance back at this I will reference it when I'm creating my monthly plans to kind of give me an idea of things that I want to do, things that are coming up, and it, it's just kind of like a drop all. These are my tips, like I used a six tip for the headers and a two tip for the description, and it creates this gorgeous effect. Uh, so I loved how this turned out. How do you use this page? Let me know in the comments. I know there's so many ways to use it, like goals, but this is my favorite way. Now let's jump right into August. I, I know you already saw this, but I'm going to do a little quick flip through to show you all the art in more detail. Um, this art for August is so soothing. It feels like back to school, but elegant. <laughs> These are like the scalloped corners, which I love these stickers. Don't always know how to use them, but I love it when a kit includes them because they're so versatile. Then flags, and I already showed you the washi and the circles. And then this is the sidebar, or this is the sidebar. I always forget. I think I figured it out in the video, but you will definitely see me struggle. And uh, these are the quarter boxes and the full boxes. And again, I, I should have researched it, but their, their paper is kind of like a buttery vinyl but it's not fully vinyl because i know vinyl is like so thick this is thinner and again i don't always know what to use with these big big stickers i don't love them because they're so bulky um but they're so cute like i can see me using them in my daily duo and the deco i love some good deco and then the august scripts and there's no holidays in August, so weird. Um, and then the functional scripts and functional icons. 
um one happy birthday sticker i have so many birthdays in august like it's insane i I won't be using this script sticker. I'll probably hoard it <laughs> to probably use it in a spread where I can incorporate it. And then quick flip through of July, y'all. The July is was intense. Like oh, and this is the sidebar. I this my favorite sidebar was so seamless. I used part of it here. Um, uh, but this is how a monthly looks like in <laughs> in action. I'm setting down all of my stickers now the August script which I almost ripped oh my gosh but these are some sturdy stickers for real this is how it looks so beautiful already I'm already loving it and feeling so inspired and this is gorgeous the art is absolutely amazing and this is me struggling with the sidebar but I will eventually get it. I realize these are like the um, the the full full box stickers, and I use these to block off the days that are not in the month. I just love doing that. I love just having a canvas for what is happening during the month. And again, trying to figure out the sidebar. <laughs> but I still wasn't getting it right. Like it still didn't look correct to me uh, it's a little bit more tricky with the florals like if you have a different design I think it's easier to get how the the design goes um but florals are definitely um more complex but I, I finally got it and it looked amazing and seamless as well and so beautiful with the foils so very quickly I, I just want to apologize to y'all for not being very consistent. Like, lately my life has been, uh, like, completely different. Like, I just started a new job in May, so getting a, used to a new job was, um, like a curve. <laughs> like, was a learning curve for me. And then in, at the end of June, early July, I moved to a new apartment. Oh, and this is me using my softbound to pre-plan. Just quick reference for y'all. Um, and then I have these super cute balloon stickers from Lexi Kylie Designs that kind of went with the color palette. So I decided to use those to mark all the birthdays I have in the month of August. But yes, I just wanted to say why I have been a little MIA, like, it's been crazy. I, like, just getting organized, like, unpacking, I know you will definitely relate if you've ever moved. And I moved, like, right next door to a different complex. I mean, it was a little bit easier in that sense, like, we didn't have to get, like, a full moving truck or whatever we just kind of drove our stuff in batches and we had a lot of help from my friends too so shout out to them um they were so freaking helpful like uh they all came together and um in their cars got our stuff which was a ton of stuff let me tell you i am a little bit of a hoarder not going to lie um but that was like so heartwarming Pivot! I love these Lexi Kylie Designs build do icons. They elevate any page. So, so you can tell I love Lexi Kylie Designs too. I love all her stickers so much and how they look in monthly spreads because the size is just perfect. If you have moved, let me know in the comments what was your experience because my my was a pretty good one. Like it wasn't as difficult, but just the unpacking is 
like my least favorite part it took me like a month to finally get all of my stuff out of the boxes in inside my office which was the last thing like I feel like we unpacked our bedroom and kitchen first and that was fine but not the <laughs> not the office um I kind of left that till the end but I did it it's still a little messy but you know I'm trying to keep up with it and I just wanted to share like I am definitely ready to uh, continue posting I hope to post every Saturday uh, moving forward at least um, and maybe a cup maybe sometimes I'll do two posts a week I'm still training you know get into the mood the rhythm and my uh, sister would definitely follow her on Instagram Galactic Kitty edit um, she's going to be she does a lot of my editing well all of it and this is the micro perm pen this writes well on the vital this is what the sticker guru team recommends for their vinyl stickers and they are so right like this was perfect uh the the pen was buttery soft on the paper there was no smudging i still used like a like a tombow permanent marker previously which will work as well like it's a great alternative but these micro perms are just like the Sakura Micron pens, which I adore. So this was so nice to use and they have different tips. Like I had a one, three and five tip, I think in the pack that I got and it was amazing. And this is how my monthly turned out. What do you think? I loved it. I loved the art. I loved the icons, the foils. Sticker Guru's foils are absolutely flawless, on point. Um, these sticker kits were so like inexpensive because of their sale. I couldn't believe that I got them. And so much value because they come with a ton of stickers. And this is how it ended up like this is what I have left over so I didn't use any of these which was a shame <laughs> but it just came with so much stickers oh and I realized as I was doing this that I didn't even like use any deco <laughs> I was just like showing you all that I'm like oh deco um, so I'm gonna go in and add some deco just to make it so much prettier. Love cutting up my florals. A lot of people do this, like shout out to Honey Style Joy, um, who does this a lot. I love her style. Very different from mine. Um, she become kind of like my Connor Bestie on YouTube, so check out her channel. Definitely like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more planning, inspiration, tips, decorative planning, productivity. Thank you for being here. Bye!